a little more than a week into the new school year, and already nearly 300 students and staff in the York County School Division missed at least one day of school because they either got COVID or came into contact with someone who tested positive. We had a lot that, that came in over the weekend, so uh, the Labor Day weekend is a little bit worrisome about how that's going to to turn out. York County School Division's Chief Operations Officer, Dr. Jim Carroll, is stressing these cases did not happen all at once and they didn't all happen when school started. Those numbers preceded the start of school. We started tracking numbers as soon as uh, staff returned to the building and athletics started and the vast majority of this is community exposure. It's an issue that isn't limited to York County. Across the country, hospitals are seeing a rise in pediatric cases as the more contagious Delta variant spreads. I think it is a wake up call. Uh, which is really unfortunate and it can be very scary. Peninsula Health District Population Health Community Coordinator Tess Ledoux said parents need to take note. We are still in the middle of the pandemic. This is definitely a, a more serious virus and the pandemic is not over uh, and it's not a waning pandemic for sure. Dr. Carroll said the school has safety precautions in place to try and prevent outbreaks, including daily health screenings prior to showing up at school. We do have about, I think right now it's currently closer to 200 students that are either positive or in a, um, you know, on a quarantine. His message to parents and staff is simple. If you're sick, stay home. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. Dr. Carroll said the division is still following safety protocols put in place last year. That includes mask wearing, enhanced cleaning and social distancing.